My name is Adam Joynson. I'm Professor of Information Systems at the University of Bath and I'm Programme Lead for the online programme within CREST. What I want to talk to you today about is our work on digital footprints. So digital footprints are the cues we leave behind as we interact with online services. And it could be the sensors on our phones, it could be the websites we visit, the way that we communicate with people. And what we've been doing as part of CREST is a series of reviews of all of the research work on digital footprints and how it links to personality and predicting demographics. So we started with 14,000 different papers that we began scanning. We then narrowed those down to just over 300. And what we found is that it's possible to predict personality from digital footprints. Some aspects of personality are more easily predicted. So extroversion and conscientiousness are more easy to predict than neuroticism because these tend to be more public aspects of personality. The other thing is that some types of social media are better for predicting personality than others. So for example, Facebook turns out to be better for predicting people's personality than if you, for example, analyze Twitter. When we look at demographics and political affiliation, we, can, we find that, first of all, yes, you can predict gender, age, political affiliation by looking at people's digital footprints. But interestingly, it's things like um, their retweets rather than follows that are most predictive. So if you follow a political actor, it doesn't necessarily mean that you agree with them. But if you retweet them, that's seen as a... Um, as a sign of agreement and so it's a better predictor of political affiliation. Why is this interesting? Well, because lots of our adversaries are also tracking our digital footprints and so it's very important from a protective viewpoint that we actually understand um, what people can, in, can learn about us as practitioners and as individuals when they look at our digital footprints and um, analyze it. It's also potentially useful if we're interested in understanding adversaries and, for example, their personality and how they might re react to stresses and so on. If you want to learn more about this kind of research, then visit the CREST website.